Uh, hello, I'm, my, I'm Marty, uh, Marty Andrews. Uh, I work for Normal Industries and we've recently taken over the um, supervision and the running of the Edie's Tea Room here at Skelton Manor. Um, what we uh, are doing is um, we, we use a, a team of qualified chefs and cooks uh, to support some participants who have disabilities or certain barriers that uh, make it difficult for them to find employment and support them in employment uh, within Edie's Tea Room. Uh, so we're, we're serving members of the public and we've got um, three members of staff who then support a further, uh, at the moment, two or three, but we plan to move that up to sort of like 10 to 14 uh, trainees um, in supported employment. And that means that they can really, we, we have other sites um, where it's a little bit less busy in, than here and it gives us a nice progression. They start off in one of the quieter sites and then move, move through the system and end up somewhere like here at Edie's Tea Room where um, they, they can use all the skills and knowledge that they've, they've learned in, in the earlier placements into actually uh, putting into practice here. Um, so we, we've really only been here since um, the, uh, earlier this month, for about a month, so we're still very much learning and, and, and getting the team together, but um, feedback we're getting at the moment is very good. Um, got a lovely team, a lovely team of people, so um, hopefully we can see you down at Edith's Tea Room soon. Confidence um, is very, we find that people, re when they first come, are um, quite nervous, maybe they haven't worked for a while, it could even be their first ever paid role. Um, so quite often people come along first of all and they, they want to volunteer and that's fine. They can volunteer for a, a month or so. Um, we can work out what shifts work for them, work out how, how they get here, things like transport can be arranged. Um, and then we can sort of build on their, on their, on their, their particular skills because everybody has skills that are particular to them and we look at their skill set and work out how they, they can best fit into the operation. And we have other sites where it, you know their site they can maybe if they're not quite ready to start here, learn a, f a few few more skills, go through food safety training, customer service training, and then as they when they when they so when when they they come to a site like Evie's, we can really support them to uh, to go on and, and build a career for themselves in, in in the catering industry. Back in the start of the year, back at the start of 2021. Um, we set up with a number of partner organisations such as Pembrokeshire College, uh, Clinview Care Farm, um, a number of places around the county um, so it was to, to support the circular economy and, and that's really got, got three, um, three arms to it, the Library of Things, Repair Cafes and also Repair Workshops. The bit that really I, I've been involved with is the repair cafes and we held our first event earlier uh, in May, so earlier this month. Um, and what happens there is that we have a number of volunteer fixers um, come along, they sit at a table. At the moment it's all with screens and we, we manage bookings so that we can, we can manage the event to keep uh, everyone safe from a, a socially distancing point of view. Um, so they, they come along with an item to be repaired, now that might be an item of clothing that needs a new zip or a pocket needs repairing or a hem has come down on a dress. Or through, so from clothing through to things like electrical items. So we recently, uh, the last one, we repaired a vax machine that had been broken for quite a while for someone. We have people who are qualified to pat test the anything electrical so that if once it's repaired, we can check that it's safe to use. So we've got electrical. Well, we also have people who are re um, re for repairing things like garden tools, uh, mechanical things, electrical things like heaters. So, and also people who, who have a bit more expertise in things like IT um, and um, technology. So that if someone has got a problem with a, an iPad or a mobile phone we can sometimes help them to look at that as well so it's very exciting they're going to be held here at Skelton Manor 
um, at the Make, Grow and Eat shop, um, hopefully outside, weather permitting, but um, it, we, have, we have marquees and, and gazebos that we use to uh, keep everybody dry. Um, and it's going to be on the second Thursday of every month, and we run those between 1pm and 4pm.